Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing some more Project Playtime. In this video, we're going to be looking at character descriptions for both the player character and for monster characters, as well as going through all of the cosmetics on the season pass and seeing what they look like, and finally, looking at the abilities for both the player and monster classes that we can upgrade as we unlock points in game. I do want to stress, guys, that this game, for its gameplay modifiers like, uh, you know, powerful unlocks and stuff like that, it does rely to play the game. You can't buy the actual gameplay modifiers modifiers with real money. That's purely for the cosmetics. So this game's actually something that I think is really done well. It's not pay to win in any way. A massive shout out to the developers for not doing that. They've actually got you to only buy the skins and obviously the game's free to play so that's very reasonable. So with that said guys, let's check out some of these skins, let's check out some of these descriptions and let's check out some of the unlockable powers and see what we can really start to unlock as we make our way through this game. I've really been enjoying this game so far guys, and uh, yeah, I think we'll have a look first at customization. This is the survivor character, let's actually read through what it says about the survivor character. One of the many Playtime Co employees hired on as a resource extraction specialist. This special job requires them to attempt recovery of valuable assets from the remote reaches of the factory. Survivors are armed with a powerful tool known as the Grab Pack. This amazing gadget allows survivors to wield two hand cannons. By using these, survivors can grab things from afar or push and pull heavy objects with ease. Survivors are tasked with scouting out dangerous sealed off areas to find toy parts via puzzle solving and putting these parts together in order to make a giant toy. This giant toy is then loaded onto the train and the survivors all get to leave, if they are still alive. And that's certainly true as we have had some rough games up to this point. Okay, now let's see if we can customize our character. So as you can see, if we quickly go through the hats, we have got this very fetching wig. We've got this kind of weird alien hat. A space hat, like a space helmet. We've got this cap. This uh, Bunzo bunny hat, which is pretty awesome. I actually quite like that one, I might go back to it. Then we've got the boxy boo hat. What's this one? Just a balloon, I think. A crown. Chef's hat. What is that? Like a lawmaker's hat? Like a Wild West type hat? Chicken hats. Kitty hats. Oh, a fried egg. Man, that does not look appealing. <laughs> that looks a bit like, uh, I don't know, kind of gross on his head right there. We've got a little gangster top hat. A hot dog. Kind of like the hot dog one. Oh, look a huggy face. Then we've got the construction helmets. Different hazmat suit hats, like gas masks and stuff. We've also got this pumpkin helmet, which we did wear in one of the earlier videos. A jester helmet, or a jester hat, I should say. Knight's one. Do I have to read all of these out? I might just click through them. This one's a kissy one, obviously, and, and we've got a mommy one here. But I'll just show you all of these guys. These are actually really cool. Like, the developer has gone to a lot of trouble to design these. And obviously these are optional cosmetics, so you can purchase them, the game has to make money somehow, it's free to play, and this is how they plan to make money, and I think it's very fair because they have put a lot of work into making all of these, they look cool for the most part, like I like most of these. We've also got all these different hands, like we can see all of the different hands, look we've got a plate there with cutlery, that's pretty awesome. There's the prototype hand, I like that one. That's an epic one. Look at this, you can have different like, um, I like that. Different like, uh, what, like finger puppets on there? I might keep that one on there. Let's go and check the other hand, we can like look through some of the others. Oh, that one's fun as well, look at that little knitted glove. Man, these are cool. Like I said, they put a lot of work into these different unlockables. That one's like a squid hand, like a, an aquatic one. And we've got these different stripy ones. Metallic. You get the general idea, we've got like a skeletal hand there. Look, you can have a toolbox hand, we can have finger puppets in a toolbox. You can have like a Minecrafty one as well. That's kind of interesting because obviously mob games comes from like a Minecraft animation background. Now let's go down to shirts. So obviously at the moment we've got this very rustic looking uh, robot outfit on. But you can also have this rocket ship one, there's a dress. 
I'll quickly go through them, guys. But as you can see, Boxy Boo one there. There's lots and lots to choose from. These are so well done. Like, big props to Mob Games because they've actually modeled all of these. And they're not just kind of like basic skins. They actually have detail to them and stuff. Can have a knight's armor. You can have a, the mommy long legs one, of course. That's kind of funny. That's like an Assassin's creed -y type one. Or you can have a security guard one as well, like a FNAF style. Skeleton, like an old rust bucket one. I might go with this like armed forces one. That's kind of interesting. I'm a bit of a mishmash at the moment. Our fashion sense is questionable, that's for sure. Oh, and then you can actually even color your like guy underneath with all these different skins. Man, this is crazy. There's so much here. But yeah, guys, you can see there's just so much on offer here. I'm going to go with just the, you know, kind of army bodysuit right now. And you can even wear masks. Wow. That's nuts. They have like masks as well. We can have the gas mask. I like that. All right, guys, so let's look at some of the perks we can unlock now. So we actually have uh, a series of perks. The first one is Power Walker. This will substantially increase the speed at which you can walk, and using this will help you move quicker and evade capture. So that's good, faster walking. Then we have Shadow Walker, which substantially increases the speed at which you can move while crouching, using this to help you quickly move through dark areas or behind obstacles. And I guess they don't hear you, like the monsters don't hear you when you use this. So that's actually useful. Then we have Leave No Trace. This will reduce the amount of time that your footprints, which are only seen by the monster, are visible, which gives you the ability to lose a monster in an intense chase. So that's really good. Think Fast. This will cause the buttons on the reflex power to stay lit for longer. Using this allows you more time to hit each button. I don't actually think I need this. I'm quite good at the Think Fast one, but uh, I could use it for some of the other ones. Leadership. This will cause other survivors around you to regenerate health. You will also regenerate health if you're healing other players. Using this will allow you to lead the charge while healing yourself and your teammates. Huh, that's pretty good. Punching Bag. This will provide you with additional health on top of the maximum amount. Using this means you can take more hits before getting downed. I really need this because I'm always getting smacked about by the monster. Distant Saviour. This will decrease the amount of time it takes to lift another saviour from the feeding pit. Using this allows you more time to quickly save your teammates. Another good one. And then Genius. This will allow the memory puzzles 8 button codes to stay visible for longer. Using this means that you have more time to memorise each code. I really need that one because the uh, Genius puzzle as they're calling it is the one that really screws me over. I'm awful at it. I'm okay at the other two, like this one is Master Pianist. Uh, this will cause the piano puzzle to have fewer patterns, so using this allows you to complete the puzzle far quicker. But yeah guys, a good series of perks there, we will start to unlock some of these as I play more of the game, and I might do a future video where I show you some of this stuff. So now let's take a look at the monsters. First up is Boxy Boo. Boxy starts as a simple music box that can transform in an instant to a terrifying enemy. This monster is a streamlined hunter with both speed and agility on his side. His springy limbs allow him to jump high and far to reach whatever he desires. Boxy has several ways to surprise his prey. He can go into box form and hide amongst the scenery. His spring arm allows him to grab survivors and pull them close before clawing them to death. On top of all that, his music will become louder and faster the closer he gets to his prey. This cute but deadly creature is the horrific offshoot of several failed experiments. The first of its kind, he was based off his toy counterpart. The original toy was created in 1966, and he was later used as the base structure to create this monster. Assessment, do not engage. So there we go guys, we've actually got some background for Boxy Boo there. Some history on the toy and how he was created. And we actually have skins for Boxy as well. Look at all of these skins that you can unlock for him. You can have a Christmas one, that's very festive, and uh, I think maybe I should wear that one next time I play as Boxy. But as you see, when we go through, we have loads of legendary skins. I like that one, the hamburger skin, that's really cool. Yeah, this is awesome, look at all of these. You got a robot one, that's cool, the animatronic version of him. 
And I think they're going to add more skins, like, when the full game comes out, like, as it releases. I really like the animatronic one. I might have that. Yeah, let's use that one. Now let's go to Huggy Wuggy. Vicious and terrifying, Huggy is not a monster to be trifled with. This monster is a natural born killer. He uses brute strength and his quick speed to catch his prey before hugging them to death. There's more to Huggy's strategy than may meet the eye. He has eyes everywhere. He will place mini Huggies in his territory to help watch over everything. If these Huggies spot anything out of place, they will scream to alert him, and Huggy will arrive in seconds. This Huggy appears to be a living giant version of a famous Playtime Co. toy. The toy was created in 1984. In recent years, a giant statue was placed in the factory's main lobby, but it appears he was far from inanimate. Assessment, avoid at all costs. Oh man, so that's Huggy's backstory. Actually learning a bit more about these toys. And now let's see how we can actually uh, upgrade Huggy and give him skins. So we've got different colors. These are very similar, just different colors. I'm gonna save the best to last though. That's the animatronic one for Huggy. Metallic ones, but the best one is Killy Willy. Look, legendary skins Killy Willy. And this is an all new enemy type based on Huggy Wuggy, kind of like Kissy Missy, I guess. And it's got eyes all over him and just looks like super cool, doesn't he? Like, I really think we need to play as him next time. Next time we play as Huggy Wuggy, we will play as uh, the Killy Willy version because that's like super awesome. And actually, if you remember, guys, in the last video, we had somebody on our team. I can't remember who it was playing as Killy Willy and we got the jump scares from that. And it was like really, really creepy. Finally, we have Mommy Long Legs. Look at her, she's absolutely terrifying. Mommy is best described as spider like, a psychotic murderer who kills for fun. This monster finds and kills her prey before she's even seen. She can climb on walls and ceilings to stalk the hunted. Then, when the moment is right, she strikes. Mommy has several tactical advantages, such as her spider webs, which can slow down her prey, and additionally, she also has the ability to see through walls for a short period, allowing her to locate every survivor quickly and quietly. Mommy was created in 1991 as a way to make use of Playtime Co's new elastic plastic. Eventually, she was transferred to the game station with the children, where she was so popular that Playtime Co actually created a toy out of her and took it to market. Assessment, don't stand still. And here we go guys, we've got Mommy's appearance now. So we can have the uh, Black Widow skin, which is really creepy looking. Daddy Long Legs, I like that. So we've actually got Daddy Long Legs in the game as well. That's cool. And then we've got Gold Mommy, Green Mommy, Maid Mommy. That's cool. Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> It's kind of like a meme one. Orange Mommy, Octo Mommy, we played with Octo Mommy. Well, we didn't play with her, but we saw someone else playing with her in our last game, of course, in the last video. So check that out if you want to see it in action. Um, we've got the Robot Mommy. I really like the Robot ones. I think they're cool. Some of the best, actually. But I actually think I really like the uh, Daddy Long Legs one, so I'm going to play as that next time. So when we play as Mommy Long Legs, we'll actually play as Daddy Long Legs, which is pretty cool. Okay, guys, now let's check out the sabotages for the monsters that can be unlocked. So firstly, we have Feeding Frenzy. While active, any survivors that you knock down, or any that have already been knocked down, but have not yet carried over to the feeding pit, will automatically be sent there. With this, you can go on a killing spree without having to pause and carry survivors around. Upgrading this sabotage will increase the duration it lasts for. That's actually a really good perk. Then we have Booby Trap, which when activated, the puzzles nearest to you will be booby trapped. If a survivor attempts to use the sabotaged puzzle, it will explode, damaging them and alerting you of their location. With this, you can get the element of surprise on unsuspecting survivors. Nice. Directionless. While active, all indicators on the survivor's screens will disappear. Things such as the location of a train, toy parts and active puzzles will no longer be visible to survivors. With this, you can disorient survivors and attack while they're dazed and confused. Okay. Living Nightmare. While active, the environment will become extremely dark and foggy for survivors, severely limiting their vision and sense of direction. With this, you can attack survivors while they struggle to navigate the environment. No Pack. 
when activated, all survivors grab packs will break down and they'll have to run up to one another in order to fix them. With this you can attack the survivors while they're completely defenseless. Upgrading this sabotage will increase the repair time for the survivors grab packs. Man you can really wreck the survivors if you get some of these perks, no wonder they're so expensive though. And then we have no escape. While active, survivors are without defence. All grapple handles and crash doors stop working and all portal lounges open up to reveal any survivors hiding within. With this, survivors will have no means to escape your attacks. Um, so that's pretty devastating if you unlock that one. And then shut down. When activated, all puzzles will stop working entirely. Survivors are forced to find one of the two breakers within the environment and manually reactivate all puzzles there. So with this, you can lure survivors to breakers and attack them there. Yeah, all of these would be great to have. I think you can only equip one at a time. We've currently got this one equipped, which is Total Lockdown. When activated, all crash doors will slam down, closing off several access points throughout the map. What was an open environment has now become a deadly maze. Okay, awesome. So we just need to earn some more uh, points to unlock some of these guys. But there we go. That is everything, I think. I don't think there's any more. No, we're back to Survivor. So yeah, we've taken a little look guys at all of the basic cosmetics that you can unlock through this season pass and also we've taken a look at the descriptions for both the uh, player character and the monster characters as well as all of their perks. So this has just been like a video to basically recap everything that you can do in the game. It was going to take a while so I thought you know I'll just have this as a separate video for those interested and in the next video we're going to be playing as some more monsters once again. We'll play as Mommy Longlegs or Daddy Longlegs I should say because that's who we've equipped and we'll also play as Killy Willy, Huggy Wuggy's weird alternate skin that they've put into this game which looks really cool. But for now that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it guys. If you did remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.